Good morning, guys. Welcome back to AJT Jewelry. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it is Monday morning here, and I just wanted to give a quick update in regards to this G-Shock GWG-1000-A Mudmaster that I've had now for about a month. Um, I can honestly say this is one of the best watches that I own in my collection. Um, I, I love the fact that you can literally throw this thing around um, bash it around, not that you'd want to, but um, and not be worried that you're gonna damage, you know, anything on the watch. It is that tough and strong. Um, it's literally not left my wrist for a month since I've had this watch, which is incredible. Um, it keeps amazing accurate time. Um, I haven't had to adjust anything on it. Um, I have used the, the barometer quite a bit, um, the thermometer, so checking the temperature, I haven't used the compass yet on this bad boy um, at all yet. Um, however, I've used the stopwatch, I've used the timer, and obviously uh, there's an alarm feature every hour that goes off on this particular watch um, that you can set. So you know it's been you know an hour, I guess. You know every hour of the day, which is good to remind yourself of. Um, yeah, guys. Um, honestly, this Mudmaster is a it's an incredible watch, and I think if you're a watch collector like myself. Um, add one of these into your collection if you guys can. Um, this is an awesome timepiece. You guys would would literally keep this on your wrist. I'm telling you, there's something about this watch that I just I just love, and um, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> um, I love this timepiece, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a huge part of uh, my collection actually. And I'm trying to find the version of this with the um, the camo strap and the camo dial there's a special uh, it's a, i can't remember the model number but there is a model of, uh, of this particular watch that has uh the camo strap in the face that'd be a badass piece i can only imagine um if they made this in stainless steel how cool this would be and at this size um i'd love to see that from g-shark um as opposed to this resin um but obviously this the reason why these watches are so strong is because they're you know made of resin and they're shock resistant. I mean, you can drop this thing apparently from a, a three-story building. Um, not that I would do that, but um, you can do that and these things will be fine. There's plenty of other guys on YouTube that are throwing these things off um, scaffold and buildings as well, and they are still ticking and it's incredible. Um, the value that you get with this particular watch is is something that I want to point out as well. I was, I've been looking um, at a Breitling Emergency 2 and also the emergency one but the emergency um two and one similar things but you get i mean yes they are a you know it includes a personal locator beacon in the watch but it is a digital and analog function like um the g-shock mudmaster um and i was watching a, a youtube clip the other day on the emergency two now uh the brightly emergency two um let me read that <laughs> so the price of the Emergency 2 is roughly between, you know, 13 to 17 odd thousand dollars Australian. Um, that is a huge amount of money. But um, the features that you get on it are pretty stock standard. Other than the personal locator beacon, which is, you know, incredible for an emergency, um, you know, it's, it's, you can't really put a price on that really when you think about it. But um, the features just generally on the watch are pretty basic. Um, it only has, you know, simple things like a stopwatch, you know, countdown, a, chrono a chronograph feature, a day and a date. That's pretty much it. Um, but it is a dual analog and digital screen um, with backlight. And same thing as this G-Shock here. And I was looking for a watch that was like that. And um, obviously the G-Shock Mudmaster has those features but you're getting more for your money that you're spending, which is incredible. I mean, you're getting a barometer, you're getting a thermometer, so you can tell the temperature. You've got an altimeter as well, so you can check your altitude. It's got a day, it's got a date, it's got a stopwatch. Um, it is 200 meters water resistant, which is also cool. I mean, I've, I've worn this thing in the shower. I mean, I, although it's not my deal to wear watches in the shower, I do wear mine in the shower. Um, just after a workout, I don't care, I just throw it in there. Um, it is 200 meters water resistant as well, which the Breitling Emergency is not. You can only take that, I believe it's like five meters. Um, just, you know, if you 
literally, you know, you've had a major accident or something, you're in the, the midst of the ocean. You, you mean, you can get it wet for a moment whilst you pull out the antenna. So check out that watch, guys. It's pretty cool. Um, but just in general, the amount of features that you're getting for your money with this particular watch, it far outweighs any other high-end watches. And also the movement in these watches is a Casio movement. And these guys are like, you know, the kings of watch movements, believe it or not, up there with Rolex, you know. Very unique um, company as well. And um, I, I just love this particular timepiece. The crown, there's no play in the crown either. The buttons are great, they're metal. Um, you know, it's just a badass watch, guys. Um, honestly, the, the amount of money that you spend on watches these days, um, I can't fault this at all. I love it. Um, it's definitely gonna get a lot of wrist time. Um, you guys know that I love my big military watches as well. Let me chuck this bad boy on. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of um, Panerai in style, uh, um, style watches, you know, those big military ones with the bronze or the stainless steel, you know, 60, 70 millimeter ones I've got. Um, but this particular one here, I love it. Um, it's getting a lot of wrist time at the moment, guys, but can't fault it. So I just wanted to give my review on it um, over the last couple of weeks that I've been wearing it every single day. The other thing is as well is the automatic um, loom function on here and the light. So the backlight on this particular watch is incredible. Um, it lasts really long. Like, um, you know, I'd be asleep, wake up at three or four in the morning and I look at my watch and it just comes, it's still bright, I mean, with the loom, but obviously there's an automatic feature where you turn your wrist and that does come up as well with the backlight. And again, you you, you get that feature with a G-Shock, but if you're paying 13 to 14 thousand dollars for, you know, a Breitling Emergency or a, a B50 um, Breitling watch, you're not getting those features either. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, different brands, different things. I know, I get it. But um, for a G-Shock, you guys, this is an awesome analog timepiece and I love it. So check it out if you guys are interested in it. But just wanted to give my update for the last couple of weeks that I've been wearing this watch and I, I absolutely love it. All right, guys. So um, yeah, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel because if you're a watch freak like me, I'm going to be putting up some more videos um, in the next couple of weeks when uh, I you know, do some things with my, my existing watches. I've bought a couple of straps and bands and I'm waiting for all from, to come from overseas. So I'll put them up when I get them as well. All right, guys, thanks very much for sticking around and take care. All the best. Peace. Cheers.